Hi, good afternoon everyone. Um, I'm Captain Scott. I'm one of the instructors for um, AATA. And what we'll be doing today is to um, walk you through a pre-flight inspection on one of our aircraft, which is the Diamond Industries DA42NG. It's one of our latest aircraft um, for our training. So basically what we're doing is just to check the aircraft systems and the physical condition of the aircraft to see whether it's going to be fit for our flight a bit later on. So without further ado, let's go. So the first thing that we'll do, obviously, is to remove the pitot cover. This is to cover, they have to protect the um, pitot tube. But for now, for our flight, we'll have to reboot that. We'll just keep this in the back seat. And I'll make sure there's no loose items in the aircraft and also all our aircraft documents is on board. All right, now we're just gonna have a general look of the cockpit, make sure everything is all in place. Um, first off, we're just going to check the circuit breakers are all in. Make sure the electrical system are all right. The electrical master is now on. We're going to turn on the pitot heat. All the lights on. So that we'll be checking all the lights and pitot heats functioning well. We can put the flap down as well. So Make sure it's functioning well. Let's go have a look at the plane and make sure all the lights are working. The uh, left side of the aircraft the stall warning, make sure it's functioning well. As you can hear, the stall warning is sounding, right? The um, pitot tube, I've turned on the pitot heat already, so you can give it a few taps to make sure it's hot, so it's gonna melt all the ice if it does have ice buildups. Now the lights, the uh, navigational lights, the red one is on, the white one at the back is on as well, and also the strobe lights is flashing. On the right wing will be the same. So navigational lights, the green one is on and the white one behind is also on and the strobe light is flash flashing. Now from the bottom, we'll have to check whether it's the taxi light and um, landing lights functioning properly. And now we're gonna shut off everything. So for now, we'll have to make sure we turn off everything to make sure we don't drain the batteries for our flight a bit later on. Right, first we're gonna start from the left engine. We're gonna do one whole round come back here again to make sure everything is all thoroughly checked through, right? So have a look at the governor. Um, no oil is leaking. The uh, propeller is all in good condition. No cracks or dents of any sort. And our anti-icing device is working well. Have a look at the um, radiator and the engine intake as well. Make sure there are no obstacles in there and generally the cowling of the um, whole engine is properly secured. It's where we take the dipstick out to have a look at the oil level. So as you can see, it's between the minimum and maximum. So this engine oil, it's all good. Now we can go under to have a look at the landing gear. Now the left undercarriage, just have a physical look at its um, strut and the um, tire condition, so it's properly properly inflated. And also the uh, grooves are all still good and well. There are no hydraulic brake fluid leaking. All is smooth, no dents. Up and down. Have a look at the fuel tank. So now here we have a look at the fuel cover, make sure it's flush to the wing. Um, so it's properly secured. Make sure there are no fuel leaks from the fuel vent. The winglets, make sure the surface is all smooth and nice as well. The static wicks, this is to protect the aircraft from being lightning struck. So um, it's not burnt, so for now it looks fine. The ailerons, have a look at your control stick, it's moving. The control rods, it's all functioning well. Now the flaps, it's secured, there's no movement, no play in it. Again, the physical connection, everything looks fine. From the back, we can have a look at the tyre again. The groove seems fine, there are no bald spots. The static port, this is very important for a few of our instruments, so make sure this is not obstructed. The tail plane of the aircraft, the skid plate. So have a touch to see whether has it been tail struck before. The rudder. It's in good condition, 
Just have a look, the physical connection, all it's fine. And the elevator trim. The front section of our tailplane, again, make sure there's no dents and it's all in good condition. Have a physical look of the um, antennas, so no burn marks. Now the right side will be exactly the same. Have a look at the tyres, it's properly inflated. There is no brake fluid. And again, our flaps, so no play. The ailerons, have a look at the control stick, whether is it moving together. That's good. And the static wing on the right wing. The winglet looks good. Again, the wing and the fuel cover, it's flush and there is no leaking from the fuel tank vent. Throughout the whole wing, no dents. So the right-hand engine, again, the propellers, there are no cracks and it all looks fine. And again, the physical condition of the engine cowling, everything is all properly screwed in. Have a look at the tyre again. So again, it's all good and well, right? And the nose wheel, again, the tyre looks properly inflated and um, the grooves are all sufficient. Your outside air temperature probe, there's no obstruction as well. The baggage compartment, make sure it's all properly screwed in and closed. Your nose cone, same thing, check all the screws all are in. And you have your baggage compartment from the left side as well, make sure it's all properly sealed. And now we're going to do the fuel drain. So there are three drain points for every engine. The first one is right under the engine. So the fuel looks good. There is no water bubbles in there. Again, this looks fine. No water and no debris coming out. There is a fuel drain point for this as well. So if you have a look at the fuel, as you can see, it all looks good. There is no water droplets and any debris. So this engine fuel drain points are all fine. Right, and there you have it. Um, we've done a brief pre-flight inspection on our aircraft. So it seems it's all fit and well for our next flight. The plane has been refueled already. So um, it's good to go. Right, thank you everyone for joining me today for our pre-flight inspection. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.